Embers. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only make a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Something does not want me to get this out. <clears throat> what is going on? <laughs> Anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Sagittarius, maybe return the sender a thousandfold. Let's begin. Yeah, what's going on, Sag? So somebody here could be trying to... Mm. If you could speak for a living, okay, or somebody here that's like, someone here can have a conversation that they want to have with you, or they, they have something that they need to say to you, or this could be you needing to express something to someone. Okay, let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon? What does Sagittarius need to know? Please and thank you. I wonder if y'all are like, yeah, actually that's fine. Because y'all can see the whole table. Oh, there's someone that's in regret. Somebody is regretting something that they said they did. This is someone that may have, you have may have, oh, someone here, you could have fallen in love with this person or they have fallen in love with you or they see that you're about to be in a very loving relationship. This could be a, a Gemini. I wanted to say cancer. <clears throat> be connecting to a cancer, be connecting to a Gemini. Okay, I'm seeing this here. Or a Leo. And it's something about you, you tapping into your personal power, your personal strength, which is making this person feel powerless. Someone here did not want you to sacrifice something. They did not want you to let something go. Okay, they did not. And they and you did. Because you're the empress. Okay, literally. I know what somebody thought. Yeah, you could do something that has to do with your community. You may you may speak in the community. You may do something that has to do with the community. But there's a lot of people that know you, that know who you are. There's some type of mental attack. So there could be people in your community or people like in your close circle that are throwing you like mental attacks. This could even be an Aquarius. Somebody here is trying to play on your, oh man, on your mind, your mindset. I wanted to say your psychic abilities, your mental abilities. Somebody here wants to affect this. They could be wanting, like you could be experiencing headaches. It's because of someone in your community. You have here... Someone wants to rekindle a flame with you, but you have already learned that lesson. You already moved on from this. Yeah, and it's like now proper planning. Like somebody here is realizing like they need to properly plan or that you have always like strategized all along. There's tough competition that's here. This person views you as tough competition or they could have put you in tough competition with people. And now it's like balance is being restored for you. Options is coming in. This is also fairness in regards to like a legal matter or a court situation. Libra energy is here. There go cancer energy. <clears throat> Someone's in their emotions. Nefertari. Someone's in their emotions or their feelings in regards to you. Yeah, this is someone that could have liked to start up discord or drama with you. And they realize all you did was balance things out. All you did was balance out your life. Yeah, because you have all the resources that you need, Sagittarius, your energy. Yeah, someone here blocked emotions for you. And all that did was help you understand your worth, help you know your worth. So somebody here thought that by blocking how they really felt for you or by not giving you what you may have wanted in regards to love, that was going to make you chase them or pour more energy into them. That was also going to... They thought that that was going to make them be able to use you. Confirmation, use you, abuse you. Oh my goodness. 
Someone here got you messed up. Like, <laughs> that's what that's about. Someone here got you messed up, and someone here got God messed up. What is Sagittarius need to know? You have a new car. Congratulations on this new car that's coming towards you. I'm seeing this here. Getting ready to get a new vehicle. You have fake family members that you need to be mindful of. Okay, and these are people that are hating you because you're beautiful or you're handsome. Wow. You're about to see clearly what's been going on too, especially in regards to like, you have narcissistic parents or in regards to someone that may have narcissistic parents, you're about to see clearly what's been happening. What's, yeah. This also has to do with you taking accountability or someone could be wanting to take accountability once you call them out on a mess or once they realize that you know what's up, they're going to be wanting to take accountability. Yeah, you're also getting ready to meet the one. This is like a book. Oh, my goodness. Spirit is saying you need to buy what you want. You can buy what you want at this time. You don't have to, you know, hold back. Treat yourself, okay? Because you put God first and you know that God comes first. There is someone in your energy that does not take accountability. This is someone that has black hair, and you don't need to trust them. This is this person that's hating you because you're handsome and you're beautiful. For some of y'all, this could be a father. This could be someone that is a father figure. Oh, my goodness. For some of y'all, these are parents. This could be a mother and a father. And I'm so sorry. This is your parents. This could be someone in your family that is a mother. Okay, they have kids. They put in that energy on their kids. Like, well, this is a father, and they doing the same. This is a couple, and I'm getting chills right now. Like, I don't even know if y'all can see. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Spirit is saying this is a negative family influence. And know that you are in control. You have the power to change things up, but there's most definitely people in your, in your, your life right now whether this is your parents, whether this is someone that you have a child or family with, that's a mother or that's a father now, like your child's mother, your child's father, whatever this is, okay, this could be, it's negative. Okay, your enemy is getting bad karma at this time. Someone could like chips, yeah, there's also going to be some type of physical fight that could be taking place. My goodness, with these not parents. Oh my goodness, y'all, please. These could be people that are Oh, man, that car flew all the way over there. <laughs> it says meditation. Y'all could be needing to meditate. Or this is something about grounding your energy because you have a very luxurious life that's coming in and nobody can stop this, all right? Nobody can stop you from receiving this, Sagittarius. And it's because you know how to take accountability for your actions and you take accountability overall. Yeah, you also have to, it's because you're, you're pretty, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you're handsome. Spirit is like, yes, that's how I made you. <laughs> Father God is like, yes, that's how I made you. <laughs> roses could be significant. Buy yourself some roses or someone's about to buy you some roses. Okay, this is also Father God saying, you know, you're beautiful like a rose. Someone's name could be Rose. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Father God is like, you are beautiful like a rose. Wow. Isn't there a song <laughs> that um that says her name is Rose? Is I, I think there's a song. I may need to tag that song. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it for y'all. I think is her name is Rose. I could be totally wrong, <laughs> but I feel like. Oh, wait, it is. Her name is Rose Song. Wait, no. It didn't pop up. <laughs> I think it's lyrics in a song, but it's, I can't remember the person that I'm thinking about. Her name is Rose. I'm going to have to find it. Maybe y'all know the song I'm talking about. I can't remember the person's name. 
And I'm thinking about it. I, I like, oh man. Let me Google it on um I don't want to play these and then it's not it and then it will like mess up with the YouTube. So let me find it later and I'm going to try to tag it. But I, or either someone's name is Rose, like for real. Your name could be Rose or roses are significant to you, okay? Do you need to go get yourself some roses or someone could be delivering roses to you? The Spirit is also saying there is a prayer that's getting ready to be answered for you, okay? So there is a prayer getting answered for you, and there is someone that's about to get their karma. Someone's getting caught up. It could be these narcissistic parents or someone who is a parent, okay? They're, they're saying keep shuffling. <laughs> All right, anything else, Spirit, the Sagittarius, before I clarify? Someone could have blonde hair. Someone is manifesting. I'm seeing here. Or there's a mother figure that sees that you are manifesting what you want. You have divine light that wanted to pop out. Yeah, look, someone's mother is here. Saying keep shuffling. Okay, yeah. You could have good karma that's coming towards you. You're about to receive good karma. You could be a mother. Okay, this is also like you could be a mother figure. Okay, cookies is here. You may like cookies. That's too many cards. Okay, someone here needs a DNA test. I'm just being for real. You could be a male, and you could, or someone here is getting ready to take a DNA test because they're someone's about to find out that whoever child they're taking care of is not their child. Okay, this is meant to take place so that someone could see how good love can really get. Okay, someone here is also dealing with someone who's a con artist, a thief, a fraud. Someone is doing bank fraud. You have a new man that's coming, or you could be getting ready to get involved with a new woman. All right, and this is coming about after someone has is about to find out that it's, it's not their kids. I don't know. Somebody here is crazy. Somebody here is getting ready to experience a whole new life after being like in some type of entrapment with someone else that they could have thought was their children. They could have been taking care of someone who they thought they had kids by, and they're they about to take a DNA test. So Father God is about to guide this person to take a DNA test. This person's about to find out that these kids are not even their kids. This person could have blonde hair. Someone could have blonde hair. You could have blonde hair, okay? God is about to send you help. This could be you. But I'm telling you, Father God is about to send you help. And there's no more going back to this. Like, once you find out about this, that this person has done this for umpteenth years or whatever, tried to pin a child on you that's not yours, you need to, there's no more going back. Who's the fake family member? <laughs> goodness. We're going to clarify the fake family member and getting caught up. Oh, my goodness. Who is this fake family member that Sagittarius needs to be mindful of? This is someone that you may have liked to communicate with in the past. You could have spoken to. You could have broken bread with. Okay, you could have grown up with this person. You could have history with this person. Six of Cups. But if something was a fake and faulty foundation and it was exposed or God exposed this, or it could have been some type of travesty, chaos, destruction that may have taken place, upheaval, epiphany about around the situation with the tower. I'm telling you, Father God said enough of this fake ass mess. Father God don't stand for fakeness. Father God is not just about to bless a mess. And he's not about to do that. He's not about to bless a mess in regards to a relationship, connection, a partnership, none of that. It won't happen. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to have a perfect relationship with someone and I know this person's not good for me, whoever that is, family, blood, okay, someone you have a child or family with, okay, a cousin or someone that is just platonic or friend or this is a lover or it could be a lover, whatever. If you're holding on to somebody, 444 on the time as I'm saying this, 144 could be significant as well. You have a lot of angelic protection around you and communication from the other side because it's time to get an alignment. You got a major mission and calling over your life with that 144 coming through. It's time to get it together. God is like, it's time to get going. It's time to get something together. Whether you are dealing with this or someone is dealing with this edge and your energy, I mean, for real. But somewhere here is it, some type of boundaries that need to be set and um, choosing self instead of choosing others. Okay, 15, 15 on the time, as I said, this, this is a life lesson too. Okay, this is also like could be a destruction of a marriage. 
that could be taking place. Somebody could be married or they could be acting like they love God or they could be acting like they're very Christian or religious or spiritual and they really not with this higher fine being here in the tower and that's about to be exposed too okay this could even be uh this could even be someone that's like a they could act like a religious guru or they could act like they i'm telling you somebody here could recite you know things about god like the bible but they don't know god they don't have no relationship with father god I don't know this person whoever this is okay i don't know who this is okay <laughs> Somebody at first, they were like, they didn't know if they wanted to do something in regards to you. And now they're like, they're going to do it. Or Sag, you need to really be inspired to take the necessary actions to move forward. To leave somebody out in the cold. Something needs to come to an end. Something is over. Something is done, Sag. Okay, it's time for you to take the necessary steps, the necessary protocol, the necessary actions. To abandon something, to leave something. Someone's also going through financial hardships, which is another reason why they could be trying to attack you. I'm here indiscreetly, indirectly, subliminally. Somebody here could be like doing things or saying things. And it's like you may not be picking up on it because you love this person or you have history with this person. And spirit is like, this person is disrespecting you. Okay, and you're not about to do nothing. So spirit's about to do something. Spirit's about to shake something up so that you can see the truth and understand that. Somebody is doing something that they don't like or that you shouldn't, you know, be calling for or, or you know, putting up with. Yeah, it's time that you mean business. The King of Swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius as well. Who is this fake family member? That's this energy. Ooh, this could even be a water sign. My goodness. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What's the Queen of Cups? It's also time for you to listen to your intuition. This is the person you need to leave out in the cold. <laughs> you need to leave this person out in the cold. This could be a child's mother. Some of you have a child, a family. This could be a mother figure, like a mother figure in your life. Okay, or someone here that likes to play or toy on your emotions. This could even be someone that acts like they're emotionally grounded, but this person's only doing that or trying to, you know, shower you with love so that you can help them because they're going through something financially. This is also something... Someone that's experiencing a lot of endings in their life. Yeah, you need to abandon this and walk away from this. I don't know who this is. This could even be someone that you are like in an intimate relationship with. Like you could have a family or child with this person. That's why I say family too. Because the Knight of Wands is here. Or this is someone that you need to walk away from because they are very impulsive. They're very reckless. If this is someone that is just like a cousin or, you know, if this is someone that you have like an intimate relationship with, this is someone that could be very impulsive. Confirmation. They just are very reckless. They're very careless. Like, they all all over the place. Okay, somebody here also, they don't really think things thoroughly through. They could also work off of impulse, but they know how to mask it very well. Okay, Gemini energy is here. What's this King of Swords about? You need to be very directed. Yeah, there's a King of Swords. There could be a few people that's in your family that's like this. There could be a water sign, a feminine. This is a masculine. This could be an air sign. A Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Gemini showed itself. This person's in regret for something, for even being like cold, for not opening up emotionally, for wanting to only like see facts instead of like listening to what their intuition or you know their senses are telling them. Somebody is regretting things that they cannot change. This could also be in regards to who they decided to exchange or change. You know. Somebody here could have tried to change the script, but it's something about exchanging energy. What's the Five of Cups? This person's in, yeah, because they were exposed. There was some type of upheaval that has taken place with this person, with the King of Swords. There's also someone that's about to be exposed in your, in your family that could have been trying to come up against you. This person's going to be exposed for being like on the down low. The king of swords or the king of wands. Somebody here could have a lover and it's a man. Another man. It could be a fire sign man. Okay, and this could be a, like your family member could be an air sign. Scorpio is here as well. Mm. What's the tower? Earth sign is here. This is someone that's going to be exposed. Oh my goodness. You also have here an epiphany about how someone here, you know, is realized. Oh man. 
Someone here thought that they were going to live some type of lifestyle off of you, Empress or Emperor, that you were going to be providing for them or taking care of them, the King of Pentacles. Or someone here was exposed for trying to use their wealth or their riches or their stature or whatever place in society that they are in. Somebody here was trying to like showboat. Who got this energy? Leo. This could be an earth sign that was doing this. You could have Libra or Taurus highly aspected. You're about to receive justice for this. You have good karma coming in. This is most definitely someone that also could have like, someone here could have sued or hired a lawyer as well in your family. Like someone could have been trying to sue you for something and that's going to be exposed in the court of law as well. They could have hired a lawyer to try to do something. Someone here thought that they were going to be able to outsmart you, but they are being, whatever plans that they had is being eradicated. Father God is like, not to my child. You're not about to do this. It's not going to work. This could be your child's father that was trying to do this, or this could be like family that was trying to do this. My goodness. Yeah, this, this is toxic. This is nothing but the devil trying to come up against you because you stand alone, Taj, and you're not only just standing alone, but you stand... You stand strong and firm in your faith in God and belief in self. And the devil is mad about this. You have a lot of karmic individuals in your family that are being utilized by down below. These people are wicked, money hungry, egotistical, prideful, revengeful, bitter, unhealed. Okay. Broke, busted, and disgusted. Okay. This could even be a Capricorn. Two, 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 two. As I said this, that angel number could be significant. These are the people that are getting caught up. Who's getting caught up? It could be this damn devil energy. This is, yeah, this is the message that's coming through. You, you know exactly what I'm talking about. With the high priestess or somebody here could be trying to communicate with you telepathically or send you energy. You could be picking up on someone's energy as well or different messages. Someone could be also trying to like communicate with you through your dream state. I'm hearing through music too with the high priestess and the eight of wands. But it's something about how you're about to be receiving some type of information, downloads, or messages about how you already, something's going to be confirmed to you that you have already picked up on or that you know intuitively is taking place. And this could be around someone getting caught up or getting karma. Yeah, someone that's watching you at a distance. You could be a reader, very spiritually gifted, clairaudient, okay? You could you could be clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairessent. Confirmation, like you could literally be psychic or in, very empathic, very tapped in, or being, or you could be someone that's able to communicate with the other side, okay? And there could be people in your family or just people around you that are just very upset, bewildered by this energy that you, the gift, the talent that you naturally hold that God has instilled in you, okay? That just makes you you. Two, three, four on the timer. As I said this, you, you could be seeing these angel numbers. You have a lot of people that are watching you and your energy because they want it, they want you to be delayed. They want you to like stop or be at a pause or a standstill. They also want your intuition to come to a pause as well because they feel like it's bringing them rejection or not bringing them like whatever this is that you're doing or the fact that you are very tapped in. You could also do something online. Okay, you may use your intuition and you may do something online on the computer, on the laptop. You could be someone that... You may work from like a compute, like you may work from some type of device. People also view you as very Nefertari. Please stop eating my cord, please. No. Where are we at? Yeah, that's time. That's spirit. Okay. Nefertari. No. The high priestess. Yeah. You, someone also views you as very secretive or you don't give knowledge out or, you know, you have hidden knowledge or you know things and you just don't, you don't let things be expressed. Like you don't say everything that you know. That's the classic high priestess. Someone here also, you could be getting information. That this could be in regards to someone that could have been wanting you to be like a mistress or on the side 
yeah, someone here is in some type of delay or hold up, or they're going to be stuck in a situation. You may know this. This is someone that feels very rejected right now because you're receiving everything that you want. Happiness, the nine of cups, things are balancing out for you. Okay, literally, you also have a relationship that's coming in. But this is someone that you were in a relationship with that you could have moved on from. Chariot energy, cancer energy is here. Okay, yeah, you made a final decision. With judgment, Father God said it's time to make a final decision because somebody had you juggling all over the place. So this person could have been juggling you and you saw the truth about it. Okay, definitely 222 two, two is here with the two of cups, the two of pentacles, and the two of swords. <laughs> so two, three, four could be significant. Two, two, two is significant. But you have a prayer that's getting ready to be answered for you. Okay, this could most definitely have to do with you getting ready to live a very luxurious life. And that's that nine of pentacles. You being able to buy what you want, go where you want, travel where you want, afford what you want. You could be happily single, happily dating. Okay, you could just be thriving at this time. You could be, it could be showing in regards to your material harvest. You could have financial security. You could be focusing on your savings at this time. You could be planting or gardening or getting more into nature. You could also have a lot of money saved up, but you're very humble. You may dress in a certain type of way where it's like, that's that's classic millionaire, billionaire energy. Like in New York City, you'll be surprised how like people think, like I'm in Atlanta now and, and everybody, not everybody, but there's a lot of people that think that you gotta do the most to look like you got money. No, okay, real money don't. Don't flaunt like that, okay? I come from New York City, from Manhattan. So you know, if you've been up north, you could be on the train or on the bus or on the street walking or in a store and come in contact with someone who is a millionaire, a billionaire, or a trillionaire, okay? You're in Manhattan. You're in New York City, okay? So it, it's something about, and then you see how they dress, and they don't show both. They don't. They spend money on, like, watches. On like their cologne purses, on other things, okay, on things that also can accrue money over time that they can get money off of over time, okay. It's like fine wine. They not out here wearing designer shirt, designer. I mean, the the wealthy ones, the ones that have longevity, the Rockefeller money, they know how to clean themselves up, of course, but they not. That's not a classic thing, no. Mm -mm. They, a lot of people do that because they don't have it in the bank. When you have it, you don't gotta you don't gotta do that. You know you got it. So you're in that energy of knowing you got it. And the only reason why I'm saying this is look what this woman has on. She has on gardening attire, but it's not like, you know, it, it's it's because this woman got it in the bank. She don't gotta flaunt. She got it, or he got it. You guys got it in the bank. I don't have to to flaunt. It's a it's an energy that's gonna be felt. You can you can sense when someone is eating good. They're rich in spirit. They radiate a certain type of energy and light within themselves. Okay, literally, and you can tell when someone has a dollar on them, has money on them. Okay, you, your pentacle is there, and people can see it. They can also sense it. I'm being for real. You don't gotta do the most. Don't try to fit in with people. That's why Father God is giving you. The money that other people covet, okay, and that's why they'll never get it because they they focus on on dumb things, material things, while you focus on things on being like rich in spirit, which is why you're so rich and wealthy and physical. That's how it works. But of course, to someone who is on a superficial level, they're not going to have the knowledge or the insight or the intuition to be able to see or sense that. But I'm speaking to a high priestess, another high priestess, so. Of course, you're going to be able to know <laughs> and sense that. Okay, so let's see. Just know it will show over your life, and that's how people are going to be able to know. It's going to show over your life, yeah. You went through some tough times, but God always got you, always had you. Everything is working out for you and your highest good. Everything is fine. Everything has always been fine. There you go, Sag, big Sag. <laughs> Big side, you getting that big bag. I <laughs> with the wheel of fortune come through. You you lucky energy. Okay. I'm hearing Jupiter. You you in that big expansion energy that's taking place at this time. Sad, you on the up and up. That's just what it is. Okay, and ain't nobody can nobody can stop this. I'm here. Nobody, nobody gonna stop this. Nobody can stop it. Okay. Anything else? 
somebody here is dealing with some type of legal matters or court situation or they filing paperwork in regards to a legal matter because they want to come together with someone. So my mom wants a reconciliation. They want a soul contract. They want a soul union with you. They also feel like the time is running out to do this or the time has ran out. The deadline, the time has ran out with a karmic energy, a karmic situation, something that was karmic, a third party situation. A lesson has been learned that that chapter is done. Okay, yeah, somebody here, there's irreconcilable differences. There's a divorce that's taking place, a breakup, something is over. Somebody here could have been, yeah, and this person is mad. This karmic is mad. This person should have never even dealt with this tragedy. This was a forbidden love. This was like eating the, the apple, the poisonous apple, okay? Literally, somebody here went towards a karmic individual, and they should have never had done that with the, with the forbidden love. This even could have been some confirmation. This even could have been someone that could have dressed it up as it was going to be fun or it was going to be a, you know, a, a vacation. This was really a drama queen that was thirsty and wanting to cause chaos, okay, because of you, Divine Feminine. So somebody here was a, a pick type of energy, a pick me wanting to do the most in regards to a situation and was most definitely using sex, lust, low vibrational devil, devil energy to try to get somebody that's over and done with. Somebody here is realizing that they want real love. Now, whether you want this person back or not, that's up to you. Okay, but you're blessed nonetheless. But there is, you do have someone that's, you know, making, trying to make a change or ending a karmic contract here. But I do see here, love is for you. You embody love because you are embodiment of God. God is working on you and within you, which is why you will not fail. Somebody here could have been very tempted by the flesh. Okay. Yeah, you also have here someone that's getting readings done on you. And they could have realized that you embody an unconditional love. The love is real, genuine, and certain with you. Yeah, this drama queen is trying to, this, is someone here is trying to like hide out or they could be trying to act like they're vacationing. Somebody here could be trying to act like they're cool sailing at this time. This, this drama queen, they're not. Somebody knows who the real divine feminine is or the real divine masculine is. It has came out. Okay, yeah, this is happening now. Okay, with future, like it, it wanted to come out in the reverse. This is happening right now for someone here. Father God is here. You have happy energy that's coming about. Okay, three, two, four could be significant, but definitely two, three, four. There's a reconciliation. You could be coming together with someone, or you definitely are getting ready to meet someone that you're supposed to be in a spiritual union with. Okay, trust the signs and synchronicities that are coming about. 1111 is here, 222 is here, 333 is here. This could also have to do with you needing to you know, continue ghosting someone or continue to remove yourself from a situation or continue to go, like I'm picking up on you cut somebody off very drastically. You need to continue to keep the connection like that. Someone is not really the best for you or it's not good for you. You could even have receipts or proof about this situation or about this person. Yeah, somebody has been keeping notes on you and they're very focused on you. This is someone that's in a mental breakdown, a mental imprisonment, some type of mental entrapment. Someone here also is crushed. They're feeling sad. They're feeling alone because you're happy. And it's because you have God shining his light over you. You could be feeling whole, feeling overjoyed. Okay, or someone is just seeing that you're smiling more. But this person committed to someone who was full of lust. Or they could have been towards this while you want something that is real, genuine, honest marriage you are marriage material this person was in denial about this okay they didn't want to face the truth and now they're going through some type of financial issues this could they could have gotten someone pregnant they could have a child with this you know karmic or this drama queen or drama king or whatever someone here is also being very triggered by you they could be seeing your name your car they could be like sensing your energy they also know that you're single or someone here is trying to make their way to becoming single. But this is most definitely someone that created a family with someone or you can have a family with them with someone and they want to come back towards you. Okay, yeah, this even could have happened in the past or this is someone from your past, but I'm seeing that this person wants to break the non-action. The cricket card is in the reverse. Crickets could also be significant. Something could be getting ready to, to sprout forward, to come forward, or there could be a giant leap that's getting ready to take place moving forward. Let's get advice. What's the advice for Sagittarius? Okay, yeah, you have here, I know my worth. I do not 
settle for less. Don't you settle for less, Sagittarius. And I don't even think Father God will let you settle. I mean, it's free will, but he will be so disappointed if you do because his blessings that he wants to bring into your life are so big and so monumental. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.